if you own a car then there are high chances that you have not given importance to one particular place of your car and this happens to be one of the most vital components to run your vehicle these components are none other than the components which are located under your car bonnet today i am going to discuss with you about the components that are located under the car bonnet and explain you in detail about the things that you need to know as a car owner and the things that you need to take care so that even in case of any problems in the future you can sort it out on your own so let's get started once you open your car bonnet these are the things that you usually see inside the engine bay first we shall discuss about the heart of the vehicle which is none other than the engine which is used to power your vehicle the engine that you can see here is the 1.3 liter ddis diesel engine on the maruti suzuki balino right in front of the engine we have the radiator which has fans inside it to help for better heat dissipation up next we can usually find a yellow color oil dipstick which helps us to know the exact level of oil present inside the vehicle in order to check the oil level it is always better to wipe the stick with dry cloth and dip it again to get the accurate reading there would be a level marked on the stick and if the oil is below that level it means that you should top up the oil in order to keep your vehicle running without any issues you will also find a yellow color cap and this is the place where you can top up your engine oil the main function of engine oil is to lubricate the moving parts and also help for better heat dissipation moving on we can also find a plastic tank which would be usually in white color where the brake fluid is added there would be a special mention about the brake oil type that has to be filled and this makes the identification of the tank a bit more easier there would be a marking for maximum and minimum level of the fluid inside the tank this would be helpful for anyone to see the level of brake fluid that is currently present inside the vehicle coming back to the front portion of the vehicle again we can find a small pipe that runs from front of the car and goes all the way back to the cabin this is nothing but the pipe through which air is circulated inside the cabin when the air conditioning is turned on this is further connected to a tank that has to be filled regularly at service centers in order to keep the cabin air cool to the right side of the engine we can see that there is another tank filled with coolant and this is used for circulation inside the engine this coolant will help the engine to maintain an ideal temperature even if the vehicle is driven for very long distances from underneath the vehicle we can see the transmission which has different levels of gears inside it which can be changed based on the input given from the driver to the right side of the coolant tank we can find the battery which is used to power the vital systems of car including the instrument cluster reading lamps and even to power up the vehicle if you are unable to start the car then the first thing that has to be checked is the battery output using a multimeter if the output from the battery is low it means that battery has drained and therefore it has to be replaced in order to get your car running once again last but not the least we also have a fuse box adjacent to the battery all the electric wires are first connected to the fuse box so that if there are any voltage fluctuations the fuse gets burnt and the rest of the car components remain safe few cars have this in the engine bay and few others have it inside the cabin in case if you own a diesel car you will also be able to find one extra component which is called as turbocharger this is a component that sends back the exhaust gas back to the engine and this is one of the main reasons why the diesel engines have better fuel efficiency please do note that the locations of the components may vary based on each model and the car manufacturer however the components used would be almost similar to look and therefore you won't be having any trouble finding them in your car these are the things that you need to know from a car owner's perspective however do note that i have not covered the technicality details of all these components However, if you want to see the same content on this channel, please do let me know down in the comment section below and make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever a new content is uploaded. Thank you for watching this video.